Right, hello. Well, I've not been up long. I know, it's a bit lazy really, but never mind about that. That's not the relevant point of this uh, .NET blog, but it's going to be the final one of .NET blog because the site is basically closing down. Uh, I think a lot of them, I believe, will go to a little site. But it won't be the same because this was our little community almost online. It was a great little message board that we had for when it actually uh, originally started out of um, Archester.net for the great TV program that was Dream Team. I know uh, I know a couple of people don't re really want to get the questions out there, but boy oh boy. They sometimes have to be answered, or at least thought about. Uh, it is by far, and was by far, the greatest ever TV show. I could be exaggerating on some people's cases, but it is. So, will I be sad that .NET is closing? Well, in a way, a little bit, because, you know, it's nice to go on there and have that. But there's a few people that I've managed to keep in contact with on um, MSN, so... It won't be too much of a problem. There will be some dickheads who basically I won't be keeping in contact with and once they've gone, they've gone, that's it. They can be gone for the, you know, bugger off and never see them again because they are, I don't really want to name names, I mean, I mean, you know who you are. Uh, um, and that, and there's been some terrible, uh, some terrific people on that site. You know, Tom, Dino, Arkeo, even, uh, I'm trying to think now, Chaza, is it Chaza? I think so, some, someone like that. Um, and there's been some other people coming, uh, people like Matthew and I think King of the Pit, I think that's one, I'm not sure, but anyway, there's a few, and Stevie D, oh, and, oh, and Bradders, um, Lola, Laura, and so on. You know, the only female I've ever really spoken to properly on uh, that site. We don't we don't count the Scots woman. That's something we silly really on that on that on that one. But you know, that's how some people are. Anyway, so uh, yeah, uh, and uh, Brad as I said, and Gareth who did the site. Big thumbs up to you. Great site or. Now, move on to Passages New, and hopefully um, something good will come in 2010. No need to worry about this my pitch anymore. And, of course, Steve D, as I was about to say, uh, is um, an interesting and funny guy. And I suppose that I, uh, we, we should say Norman as well, being Scottish and supporting Rangers, and that, uh, again, a couple of other people like Keith, who just have to be, I find him, I find him to be a little bit more, you know, criticising and things like that. And personally, I don't, I don't see what it's got to do with him about, you know, some of the things that I get up to and things. I mean, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure that, I'm sure that guy's probably got, you know, those girls falling at his feet up in Scotland and so on. But who gives a shit, really? Because, uh, you know, I have my friends, and I'm sure one day things will things will blossom. <laughs> yeah, that's why you know it's not like I've never done anything in my life sexual, but you got to be sad about that. That's um, another story. But I suppose uh, uh, another honourable mention should be um, to. Uh, skank, skanky, or whatever you want to call him, because I know he might not be the greatest person in the world that I've ever known on that my pitch and Harchester.net, but his music is pretty, pretty much uh, interesting because he likes bands, artists, loads of them that you that you may well have not have heard of. I mean, that's that's the beauty of being a good music fan seeking music that no one's ever heard of. I, I practically do that, but I actually do it far worse than some people, because I actually buy CDs that I'm, I will go into a shop, a charity shop or wherever, 
to the CD by some band I've never heard of and think I'm going to buy that that will be my 99p or whatever money it is for a CD single or whether it's um whether I've paid 99p for an album that they're suddenly selling I'm pretty much going to probably buy something like that I wouldn't even know who it is absolutely have no idea and it's a gamble when I go home to whether or not I think it's a it's a good piece of music and that's the worst thing that could ever happen and I think and I've done that on a number of occasions even the same with reading about artists and, off, and obviously wanted to seek them out that's a, a way of doing it that's you know if it comes to country music, the modern stuff, I don't have a problem because I just practically buy anything that modern country throws at me. I have a knack of telling from a CD cover exactly if it's country or not, usually because a lot of albums are recorded in Nashville and generally you can look at the picture and think, it looks like a country singer. It's got Nashville written all over it and even looking at the sleeve notes you can tell the, the, the players that I've ever had the fortune of working on a country song. Paul Franklin is practically the best ever steel guitar player. Well, one of them I've ever known. I, I, I don't know what it looks like, but it'd be interesting, intriguing to know, I'm sure. And he basically uh, worked with most a lot of country singers over the years, 20, 20 years, I believe, probably even longer. But I know for, for 20 years in country music, he's worked with and appeared on some fine country hits and and stuff. You normally buy a CD by some country singer, whether you're someone like um, Brooks and Dern, or it could be um, Leanne Rhymes or whoever. And literally, what comes up would be his name as being still guitar player, so it's very, uh, you know. But yeah, just saying, here's my final.net blog, I should uh, give it some uh, going on. Not trying to make it funny or anything, not trying to. But, you know, because I'm sure people might think, are we having a dot net, the last dot net um, fight off between me and Time Out? I'm sure that could that could work. Although, mind you, not not to be a bit, not to give my ego a big boost, but I am better. A big, a lot better. But we don't need, but, but, you know, perfect, you see, but we don't need to, uh, really go into that. So yeah, the final one, I think I'm going to leave it there. I've mentioned the people that have been great for that, for that website. Not mentioned the idiots, I'm sure, as we don't need to really go into that one. People who just want to you know. It just seems like Keith want to give you advice. Advice from him. Bloody hell. Recipe for disaster. I would, uh, I would stick to the, uh, friends that I know. And, uh, you know, I can quite easily, you know, go to my old workplaces and see a few people, if I still work there. I'm sure they'll give you, I'm sure they'll give you the advice I need. Don't, don't, don't need some random busy, busy, busy body from Scotland telling me. Terrible. Anyway, that's it. And, uh, goodbye.